Mother, Father, God, through the great central sun hierarchy, through the office of the Christ, through the order of Melchizedek, I call upon Archangel Michael to bring the sapphire blue ray. Cut away, cut away, cut away anything in all of our four lower vehicles not emanating directly from our I am presence. I now call on Archangel Zekiel, keeper of the violet flame. Blaze, blaze, blaze the violet flame through all of our four lower bodies. Transmute, transmute, transmute all the psychic debris Michael has cut free. I now bring forth the invincible ring pass knot and the mirror blue light of invisibility to completely surround each of us. And I call forth a shaft of pure Christ light, one to surround each of us, and I ask that they be brought to the center of the earth where I call on Archangel Gabriel to seal them. And I ask that the legions of Michael completely surround each tube of light. And now I ask that our vibrations be raised high above the psychic and astral worlds to the highest realm of illumined truth we each can attain at this time. And now, Mother, Father, God, we place ourselves in service to you, and to humanity. We ask that only that which is direct from you be permitted into our perceptions, and that all else of the lower mind be kept out, and we ask that only that which is direct from you be permitted through us. And because we have asked this, we consider it so. So be it. From the space of our heart, let us set the intention to move up and out of the form into the night air over your street and your neighborhood, your town, and then your state, and you're moving fast (laughs) over your continent and looking back at this beautiful blue and green and brown marble flying through space. And you set your sights on the unified field grid, this beautiful, beautiful grid of light, shining in all directions around the planet. It's a beautiful thought when you think of it really, that um, when you picture the unified field grid and that web of light around the planet. It's like to know that at this space of very highly, highly polarized energy that um, humanity is holding on the planet. Just knowing that the unified field of consciousness is outside of that and this is happening within this enclosed protected space of that, I think is a very beautiful image. A layer of protection, if you will. And as you enter the unified field, and touch down, allow yourself to calibrate to those energies. Tonight, I'm just experiencing so much second ray light, that golden yellow, beautiful crystalline light, wisdom, and not not um, a harsh wisdom. It's a wisdom of 
love, you know, it's second ray that um, mm, the aspect of, of the divine of knowingness and that unconditional love, the wisdom that resides in that space, right? It's not polarized. So beautiful, such a needed, needed energy on this planet and many um, beings, uh, many servers, world servers at this time are here, uh, myself included on the second ray. We came very specifically from that space to hold that second ray light here on the planet. If you feel you um, highly connect with that, that is most likely why. Okay, let's call on the Holy Spirit at this time. We ask for your assistance in our service work this evening. Just looking to see if there's anything jumping out at me to put our specific attention on. Just give me a second. <laughs> it's interesting. You know that song, um, Put on a Happy Face? It's a very old song. It's probably from the 1920s or 30s or something. Gray skies are going to clear up. Put on a happy face that uh, just came through my awareness. And I had this, um, before it popped in, this kind of this sense of this very deep sadness that the collective is experiencing. And and of course, um, as all of the, oh, the compacted disqualified energies are brought forward, we will collectively experience deeper and deeper pain. It's necessary, right? Absolutely. It's the only way to clear it is to experience it and to bring it to the light of our awareness. Um, but we have to remember, and we this is, this is work that we can do, um, standing in the space where we stand, we can, we can look at that pain and understand the purpose of it, right? And learn in the course of our own dissolution work that running from it only makes it worse um, and that facing it head on and diving in to see what it's there to show us is the only way to make peace with it and to move past it and to transmute it. And so this is something beneficial that we can um, add where we can add our own energy to the collective from the space of the unified field because the collective does not have that understanding the collective is terrified of um you know really really having to face the things that scare it um which is obvious with how we've dealt with uh climate change <laughs> right uh, you know we don't want to have to think about the things that are scary or the things that are painful and and it's an interesting thing that this song that just came forward for me can be uh, utilized two ways. That from the level of the co collective, it would be that whole like, hey, uh, you know, don't let it get you down. Just, you know, put on a happy face and get on with it, <laughs> right? So don't actually deal with any of the problems. Let's just plaster a smile on, pretend everything's fine and just move forward. But from the understandings that we carry and from the space of being a bearer of light on the planet, we understand a deeper meaning of it and how that song could be applied, um, that ultimately it is the truth that uh, gray skies are going to clear up. It is the truth that every single being on the planet um, is going to awaken, right? of course, in one's own timing, but everyone is going to awaken and be lifted out of this level, this hellscape that uh, consciousness is locked into. 
And from that space, even when we witness the world from this place, we still can understand that this is temporary, right? That it is not even real in the truest sense of the word. And that what exists beyond the pain is something that can never even experience pain. And that is where our heart resides. That is where the eternal has its beingness. And that is our birthright and our ultimate uh, destination and resting place. So let's focus on that tonight as we go into our few minutes of um, holding space for the planet and humanity, recognizing the pain is necessary, right? The pain is necessary. And that there is joy and peace and tranquility beyond the realm of pain and suffering, and that all beings on the planet will reach that destination. And let's just hold the space for the promise of that state of consciousness that is to come. Okay.
All right. Lovely. Let's let the rest of the energy just run through us. nice that brought in a a certain softness to the energy which is really really beautiful all right turn and bow to the holy spirit give thanks for the service that was rendered to you this evening and take your time and bring your awareness back to the physical form and allow yourself to reintegrate there before moving forward. And as always, I thank you again for your service this evening.